harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. I'll do the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. Aldun, save the... There is no escape. No future for people like you. The hierarchy will be... Come on, then. Here's a rock for your skull. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none.
Fine. Farah Vid and his cars escorted King Rishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. I'm feeling a bit dry over here! Sniveling little shit. Conspire. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory, the Dark Master, and Ingeborg, the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjorn. I planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know, what is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina, a Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. 
I know of a place down the street. It seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. What's wrong with you? Jarvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace.
May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? Nothing else I can... What is it you do? If you need web... I must be on... Until next... I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Want to see the Alliance map? What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often. I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts. A proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Survey the area, Sunan. And get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, 
We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Alf Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Kings and jarls, bishops and earls, I've met them all. Half done is but a man like all the rest. He conquered East Anglia, took Northumbria for his own, and sacked London. What warrior could claim more? Winning battles is easy. It's winning trust that brings an end to war. 
Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Take the gear and start digging. Huh? He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. <sighs> Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? Attend to her soon, I promise. We we'll cross them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike. Is, is when I say we strike. Halfdown's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Lucia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. I've done Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Avo Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. 
Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishi had to loot. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my servant to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I held them half the war, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. Just hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Odin. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. A thing of beauty. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two faced smirk in glory, Hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance. Sing. Fill yourself with air and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? Drink good. You! Not that bitter. Fair warning, Chell. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. You should drink good, honest man. Not that bitter Frankish wine. How true. King Rishia. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orvik Council. I attend in spirit, 
Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. Sir, I'm called Captain Cap Reed. Warrior, you can swing an axe. But can you lift a horn? Here, Dane, try your look at throwing bones. Dogs do not yearn to be yards, but I am a wolf. No. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you our wonder. Conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Faller, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. 
countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man, Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Farouid fool you. He is hiding something.
That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet your father sought. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? I saw no one. It might be that he went to find food. Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food, then travel to your aunt. Your father would wish that. This world is hard, and the gods care not. 